What up? And fucking rip that ugly off. Dude. No, dude, it's permanent. Dude. So what is up, Jordan? Not much, man. I like your new truck. Thanks. It's the it's a Silverado. What happened to your old one? Salvage yard. Bro, I heard you wrecked it really bad. Salvage yard. <laughs> Why, dude? You hit like a tractor trailer. It was an off-roading accident, and she was given the nuisance job. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm here for is that Mike wanted to see the mods for the Cummins because he's really thinking about getting a 7.3 Power Stroke one day in his life. Actually, Derek was just very persistent on showing me this, so that's why I'm here. No, you're going to get a 7.3 one day, though. Mm -hmm. But you are, though, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Let's open up this hood right now. Yo, what up? Would you stop? This is why I don't like doing this shit. Alright, check it. Damn, dude. I that... did this all my, on my own. Really? Yeah. Damn. It was the most involved job that I've ever done. It took a very long time, I can tell you that much. A lot of trial and error and 15 degrees, literally, and wind. Is that new, too? Yeah, this is an AFE stage two intake. It made the turbo a lot louder. Look how thick this air is. Yeah. And it's hard, so there's no going in or anything. You know what I mean, when it gets getting sucked? Yeah. I even painted over over here, because it was... Up. <laughs> so right I here, see you, you probably did this too. Did, was that, is that you? Yeah. <laughs> You're such a Any little man. corrosion, I have to Dude, take care of it. That's so ugly. <laughs> Why would you do that? It was corroding. I don't. Dude, <laughs> all over the place. Dude, I don't. It, you don't see it when the hood is closed. You don't see it. Here, here. Mm. Everywhere, dude. But here, look, I got a coolant bypass because remember the cooler? Remember the covers were here and everything? Yeah. And there was no room. You actually have room in this engine. Yeah. So there was a coolant bypass here because the EGR cooler was there, the exhaust gas recirculation. So I had to put the coolant routed. And look how cool, nice blue that is. Badass. Yeah, so I, I did that. The O rings were bad, so I had to get new O rings. And we got a block off plate here and a block off back there. And if you look at that plate, <laughs> You can see there's a hole in the middle. Yeah. That's where you can tap it to get the gauge readings on the inside, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why that's there. And then over here, this is the EGR. So what would happen is that exhaust gases would come out of the exhaust, and then it would come over and go straight into the intake, and then what this would do, what was here, was it would block off fresh air, and then it would just take pure exhaust, and that's how the engine would run for a long time while your truck is on the road going. Damn. That's how the emission stuff will, stuff will work, and it's awful. So that's why I could block that off, block this off and everything, and then the coolant rerouted over that. I took all that equipment off. There was so much equipment there, it, it was ridiculous. It had to be done. And my filter was dirty, so I took it upon myself to buy a whole aftermarket AFE filter, which I installed myself. And then we also have new batteries. Uh, I yeah. soaked this. This looked really bad. I soaked it in baking soda or whatever. It. But yeah, two new batteries, five-year warranty plan, so that's good. That's going to get me th many years, but, oh yeah, come over here. You've probably seen it, but, you know, the exhaust. That's why it's so smelly, is because it's literally right there. Yeah, I saw you take that shit off. There was those big tanks that was also emissions equipment, and it came all the way out the back, but that's why it's so damn drone and loud and smelly. It's, so damn good. it's running clean, dude. Just like the good old days. This truck is just like the good old days, you don't dude. Say like Sam does when you say 2500 heavy duty, you just say, yeah, just drive a Cummins, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's to the point. What if I said Ram 2500 heavy duty Cummins? So, is, so this is running clean just like the good old That's why you gotta appreciate this, because it's, it's, an, it's a good old days truck. I never said I didn't like the truck. What well, I'm saying because of what I've done, brings right. it back to the old days. Because I remember before you said you grew up in the wrong time. You wish you grew up in the 20s, 30s. Wish I grew up with the horse and carriage. Cummins? Cummins? Oh! oh snap! <laughs> 300 bucks. He's gonna see this. V8. I, don't, I don't know, bro. Think about the new Power Strokes, though, that twin turbo V8 stock. Isn't that crazy? But even the cruises with the turbo, dude. Crazy how they just turbo stuff. Just say, yeah, throw a turbo on there. Yo, is that your truck down there? I think somebody out and bought it. Yeah.
they lowered it and made it look like a Colorado. <laughs> you trying to tug of war? I'll hook to the back of Mike's truck and we'll floor it and see which truck is more powerful. Alright, we'll just take off that plastic from the keyhole. Hey! Just show the viewers that ugly shit hey. right there. <laughs> You're a keyhole. Hey. Bro, you should get some like... Are you... What is your dream truck though? Dream truck? Probably... Ford Focus. What? <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a Ford um, Super Duty or something like that. All right, well, that's different than a Focus. You gotta keep that in the video. Just say, what's your truck? Uh, probably a Ford Focus. <laughs> well, your, I know what yours is. It's 7.3 power Bro, they're taking off right now. Oh, he's taking my truck. Come back. So, 7.3, right? 7.1, actually. What do you say? Tenders. Chicken? Chicken tenders. All right, close the hood. All right, so we're about to get some food. I'll check in with you guys after the food. You're See ya. Vlogger. We gotta hurry up and What's close up, guys? in like 15 minutes. What? Oh, yeah, dude. We oh, we're screwed. Now. All right, guys, what is up? We're about to head out now. Sitting in the Ram, it's pretty amazing in here. Gotta love it, sounds great. And let's see what we can get an average on. I've been driving highway this whole time before on city. I wasn't getting that too good a mileage. I think I was getting about 13 city. So it's never anything good. So that's why I'm going to see what I can do highway here. About to head home. And it's been a long day. And yeah, my friends both like this truck. It's a really nice truck and everything. And of course, I, I was joking around saying the other one was salvaged. But obviously, we're going to be getting that Silverado fixed up. So let's head on out. So I noticed something over here. There's a compartment right there. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe someone with a similar truck could let me know. But I have no idea what that compartment is up there. See it? Ooh, look at the tires on that FJ. Oh. 